Oh my gosh, it's cold. Hey, hey, thanks for joining us. Another weekly installment of our post-marathon recovery and our training plans. Ooh, stick around, we have some updates. Hey, thanks for uh, joining us. First of all, welcome to our new subscribers. Thank you so much. Uh, we look forward to uh, hearing from you. Uh, share what you're doing and uh, let us know uh, if you like this video. <laughs> so, a uh, few things we want to talk about. First of all, we really did not want to go running today. Not at all. We even talked about how much we didn't want to go running. Yeah, actually, I didn't want to say anything. I was like, on the inside, I was like, oh, man. And then you mentioned, gosh. Yeah, so, you know, the, the <sighs> mental aspect of running, even with the plans that we have that we're about to share with you, man, sometimes. Mm. And here's the deal. You know, a lot of people will say, yeah, but once I started running, I really, well, good for you, because... That didn't happen. That didn't happen. <laughs> well, we did. We, we we plan on running five miles today, and we ran, we ran five, five miles. ran five miles today. In our neighborhood. And I am so bored with our neighborhood. Yeah. It, it's just, there's nothing, yeah. there's nothing to see, you know. Uh, last week, we ran the Cupid's Chase, and that was cool, because it was, uh, you know, in a park, and, and then a, a little bit around uh, uh, downtown. It was cool. It's different. So uh, a change of scenery is always nice. Yeah. Well, after this week, we're going to start getting to some serious miles and more miles than we can do without covering ground more than once in our oh, neighborhood. So, right. um, yeah, so we're, we're training. We just ran a marathon. It feels weird to say we're training for something, yeah. but we took enough time off yeah. that we like our bodies kind of lost Okay. Long distances. Uh -huh. So uh, we signed up for a half marathon at the end of March, which we are working up to right. um, again. Uh, so basically, last week we ran three with the Cupid's Chase because mm -hmm. it was a 5K. Mm -hmm. Today we added two to that, so we ran five. And basically between now and then, we're going to add a mile and a half every week until we get up to 11. And then the next week is the race. So what is yeah. that, like six weeks away? I think so. It yeah. is. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Six weeks away. Yeah. So... It's exciting, though, because it's in the uh, Texas Hill Country, uh, the new uh, wine mecca of uh, yeah. Texas. You know, taken for a few years. Yeah. So uh, yeah. And we haven't been there uh, for uh, probably reasons you're familiar with. Uh, so we're looking forward to, uh, you know, that little trip. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the other thing that we've been doing uh, is, you know how... Uh, and we've said it a couple of times, we are terrible <clears throat> about stretching. But you know, as runners, you're supposed to stretch. Well, now we have to stretch per doctor's orders. So, so sure. uh, you know, uh, you had your uh, uh, doctor visit and then uh, physical therapy. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of stretches working on your hip flexor. Oh, everything in the hip region is getting stretched with this series of circle stretches. Uh, and it turns out some stuff is pretty tight. Yeah. Yeah. Because cause I joined in. <laughs> like, I want to cry. I'm like, wow. Doing some yeah. new stretches. And we talked about this last time. Um, it, stretching. Good. Then I had a doctor's appointment. And then uh, followed up by my first uh, kind of uh, get to know you physical therapy appointment. Tell me all your body issues. Yeah. Physical therapy appointment. So <clears throat> the physical therapist, the doctor and physical therapist, really awesome. Uh, physical therapist, she told me something I probably have heard, probably should know, but it really hit me. Uh, she told me that your glutes are what propel you forward. And if you're weak in any of your uh, muscles in that area, you're gonna have trouble propelling yourself forward. Mm -hmm. And so you're gonna start using other parts of your body that aren't meant to propel you forward, particularly, she said, for 26 miles, uh, like your legs, like your lower back. And that was like, oh. Uh, so we are going through a bevy of uh, stretches, and I have some more uh, follow-ups with physical, physical therapy. They're gonna uh, take a look at me, and I already learned uh, something else new. Apparently, 
Um, my knees go inward when I'm trying to maintain balance on one leg and uh, you're not supposed to do that. So uh, that doesn't help the pain in my knees. So they're really, really uh, positive about uh, helping uh, uh, a pain-free run in my future. Uh -huh. That's pretty cool for both of us, <laughs> for both of yeah. us. So yeah. stretch, stretch. <laughs> Uh, we'll Seek try to help if you get hurt. Yeah, right. If you hurt somewhere, <laughs> something hurts. Don't be scared. Sometimes yeah. the the uh, resolution will make you a better runner. Yeah, hopefully I, is what's going to happen here. I've got this thing about going to the doctor. And I, I'm not very good at that, so don't don't have to go to the doctor. Stretch. Well, yeah. well but. If but, if you have but if it know. hurts, go to the yeah, doctor. Yeah, yeah. If, if it hurts, go to the doctor. So we will share with you some of our stretches. Uh, the thing is. They're hard to film without looking really weird. Yeah, there's a lot of... Yeah, yeah you know, you're, you're stretching. I mean, how else are you going to stretch your hip? It's going to be weird. <laughs> yeah, right. It's going to be weird. Right. And then finally, the doctor told me uh, that I need to wear a compression sleeve on my left knee. So... Dusted back. off the old uh, yeah. compression sleeve. Yeah, I hadn't worn them in a long time. You know, I, uh, we did a, a video on them. Uh, I'll, I'll put a, a link here. Uh, they're great. Uh, I, I was, you know, for now, anyway. <laughs> uh, compression sleeves, uh, at a minimum help with circulation, uh, and circulation to the area that you're having problems with. So, uh, I put it on today and, uh, you know, there's still some pain, but maybe it's not as bad as it could be. And uh, we did run five miles. Yeah, we did. Really right? five miles. Yeah, we did okay too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was really cold at the start. Yeah. It warmed up though. Yeah, it did. It was, it did. I don't know. God, I didn't even know. We were just hot when we got, oh shoot. You haven't stopped your workout. <laughs> you know that stretching uh -oh. we just did like 20 minutes ago? I totally just got a lot of credit for it. Uh, anyway, it is 52 degrees. It was probably like 45, 47 yeah. by the time you got home. Yeah, probably. But it started off like 30. Yeah, it was cold. Yeah. Thankfully, not windy. So that's our update for this week. Uh, we're going to just be uh, increasing our miles, mm -hmm. uh, sharing with you the Hopefully routes. Hopefully some good scenery next week. We'll try to, there's a different park I want to go to. We've been there a couple times. We got horribly lost one time that we went there. Oh, right. Yeah. So that's my only like reservation with going to run there is that we might get lost. Ooh, th they have donkeys there. Though. They have donkeys. They have, actually they have a lot of really neat stuff. Yeah. It's a great park. Yeah. Yeah. We'll share that with yeah. you. A uh, week. So every week, an update. We've got that half marathon coming, uh, and then uh, we keep training because oh. we're going to do that. Go ahead. We're going to do that wine run. In yeah, it's the next week. The we're not going to keep training. It's the weekend after. Oh man! So we travel to the Texas Hill Country for the half marathon, and in the following week, we travel to West Texas, the the, the most west you can be. Yeah. Oh, so man. far, it's in a different time zone. That's right. Oh, wow. Tell us what you're doing. Uh, let us know how you're doing. And again, thanks for joining us. We love doing this and sharing with you. Man, you know why? <laughs> why? It's, it's always an adventure with you. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Wow.
Wow. 